hello. Welcome to the wine shop. How can I help you today? Okay, yeah. Yeah, we have a great promotion going on right now. It is our annual holiday sale. And that is if you buy six bottles, you get all six for $29.95. Yeah, yeah, this is the only time of the year that we do it. It's very popular. But you picked a perfect time to come in. There's nobody else here, so I can focus on you and help you with whatever you need. Okay, so do you have an idea of which types of wine you might like in your six pack? Or do you have any questions I can help you with? You're not sure. <laughs> okay, it's totally fine. Most people don't really have like a super uh, wealth of knowledge about wine, but don't worry. Um, I actually have a short quiz that um, I can guide you through and that will help us determine which of the wines are best suited for you. So I will ask you the questions and then I will use the results to go through our large database of wine and pick the six perfect wines for you. How does that sound? Okay. All right. So let me grab my laptop. Okay. So we're going to start the quiz. It's only 13 questions, so not too long. Okay, so the first question is, what type of wine do you like to drink? Do you want all white wine, all red wine, or a mix of both? The most common answer is a mix of both, um, because even if you're not super sure if you like one or the other, Typically, when you take the quiz and you're matched to the best ones, we find that people who thought that they didn't like one or the other actually just weren't drinking the right type for them. All right, so we'll do a mix. Okay, the second question is, how sweet do you like your wine? So would you say not as sweet at all? Uh, or like a hint of sweetness, or neutral, like you don't mind either way, or like super, super sweet. Okay. For the next question, we're going to talk about which styles of wine you enjoy. So I'm going to read off a list of different styles, and you're only going to tell me the ones that you enjoy. And if you don't know, you can just skip over it. Just if you hear any of the ones that you know that you've had before or tried or sampled and that you really like, just let me know which of those are on the list, okay? Okay, so we have Oaky California Chardonnay, Australian Shiraz, Red Chianti from Italy, Bordeaux Red, Napa Cabernet Sauvignon, Oregon Pinot Noir, Sweet Riesling, New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc, Argentinian Malbec, Italian Pinot Grigio, White Moscato, and sweet red blends. Which of those would you say you enjoy? Okay, so that one, and that one, and which other one? Okay, okay. Okay, and then the next uh, question is just going to be any of the ones that you dislike. So I'll just 
remind you of the types again. We have Chardonnay, Shiraz, Chianti, Bordeaux Red, Cabernet Sauvignon, Pinot Noir, Riesling, Sauvignon Blanc, Malbec, Pinot Grigio, Moscato, and Sweet Red Blends. Would you say that any of those you just, no matter how many times you try, you just don't like them? Okay, so just the one. Okay. All right. Number five is how adventurous are you when looking for wine? And by adventurous for this question, we're looking for like how much variation to include as far as different countries and regions and things like that. So, do you think that you're more um, the kind of person who sticks to the same things and you just really want to go with what you already know that you like? Or are you more adventurous and you're open to different countries, different regions, and things like that? Um, I mean, obviously it's whatever is, you know, right for you, but most people do tend to like not go all the way <laughs> adventurous but tend to go um you know towards the more adventurous side because it's really good promotion it's a really good deal so um why not try something new right okay all right so would you consider yourself a wine novice an expert or somewhere in between? Okay. Okay, now in this question, I'm going to list some very specific brands and types of wine. So based on your answer so far, we have some, just a few um, like specific brands that you might like. So, I just want you to let me know if you're a fan of any of these in particular. Um, Robert Mondavi Cabernet Sauvignon. Layer Cake Shiraz. Menage a Trois California Red. Uh, Prisoner Red Blend. Jordan Cabernet Sauvignon. Yellowtail Pinot Grigio, Flowers Chardonnay, Chateau Saint Michel Riesling, and Barefoot Moscato. Okay. Okay. And any of those wines that I just mentioned that you know that you don't Okay, so which of these foods and drinks do you enjoy? So I'm going to list some very specific flavors, very strong specific flavors, and I'd like you to let me know which ones you enjoy. The reason we ask this question is because we find that a lot of the flavors correspond to the different notes in the wine, and so we can get a better idea of which brands and types that you will like. So the first question is going to be which ones you enjoy, and then the second one will be which ones you do not like. Okay, so a bowl of almonds butter on everything, lemonade so tart it burns, mushrooms, brined olives, pina colada, key lime pie, black coffee, or frappuccino with extra caramel. Okay, so which ones do you enjoy? 
okay? And which of those that I just listed do you dislike the most? Okay. Okay, two more questions. Now, I know that you're not um, an expert or anything like that, but that's okay. I just need you to listen to some of these uh, attributes of wine and let me know if you look for any of these types of like flavors and notes in wine. Even if you're not an expert, you still kind of have an idea of things that you like and don't like, especially if you've tried wine before. So I'm going to list some notes and you let me know if you, um, you do prefer these and you can choose as many as you want, okay? Oaky wine, citrusy, crisp, buttery, uh, minerality, like a mineral taste, bitter, flowery, fruity, or acidic. And even if you're not sure, the other answers will kind of help guide us to the right type, so it's okay. All right. And any of those that I just mentioned that you avoid, that you know that you don't like the, uh, the flavors of? Okay. All right, and the last question is, how many bottles of wine you typically drink a month and that's just because we do have a club that you can belong to so we like to recommend different bundles depending on how much you typically do um, order okay perfect okay so I have your results on the computer right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through our catalog of different wine options and based on your results I'm going to pick the six wines that I think will be perfect for you and then we will go over them and I will package them up if you are happy with them and you will be on your way to enjoying them. How does that sound? Okay, all right, so I will be right back with those wines. Okay, so I am back with the six wines that are perfect for you. I'm so excited to show them to you. So what I have is each of the wines, and then I have a card that corresponds to each wine. So you are gonna be able to take these cards home with you and each card has a beautiful photo of the region that the wine is from and then it has a card with information, the name, the year, a photo of the bottle, and all of the tasting notes that you'll need to know about this wine. So not only will you get to try a variety of different wines from different regions, but you'll also get to keep in mind the different profiles and pairings and everything like that when you take them home. So each of them will let you know what they pair well with in terms of other food and drink. So you'll get to enjoy different recipes um, with your wines and enjoy them to the fullest. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> All right, so the first wine that I'm going to present to you comes all the way from beautiful South Africa, and this is called Ten Year Tree. This is from 2019, so very recent, and it is a spicy, savory wine from the Western Cape of South Africa, and it pairs well with 
herbed lamb chops, grilled mushrooms, and pork tenderloin. And this here is the bottle. You will notice the beautiful tree and red, white, and black markings. And this is a late ripening variety that thrives in abundant sunshine, especially when located in a region that benefits from an ocean breeze, such as this part of the mountainous northwestern coast of South Africa. Typically featured in single varietal or Rhone style red wine blends, it captures prominent mulberry and blackberry notes with tones of baking spice. So, this is the first one. Our next selection is a red wine that comes to us from Washington State in the USA. And this is called Pip and Plow Merlot. This one is from 2018 and it pairs well with roast turkey, cranberry sauce, and mashed potatoes. So perfect for your Thanksgiving dinner. This is the bottle. It has a very beautiful classy look with cursive lettering. And uh, it says, to care for the vineyard is to appreciate the texture of the soil, the bend of the vines along the trellis, and the shade cast by the leaves under the sun's warmth. Each cluster of grapes carries the memory of the entire vineyard to your glass. How beautiful. There you have your wine number two. Wine number three is a red wine that has come to us from gorgeous Sicily in Italy. And this is a Vino Rosso from Sicily. Fruit used from this wine is from that region the middle of the Mediterranean Sea region where it is hot, dry, and perfect for growing grapes with bold flavors. This wine pairs well with tomato-based sauce, eggplant parmesan, and roasted veal with mushrooms. And this is a wine from 2019 as well. Here we have the bottle. The label and the bottle are in Italian, uh, but it says that it is from a protected geographic zone. And we did say in our quiz that we were open to being a little bit adventurous, so I hope that you enjoy the wines from all the different regions and different uh, languages and things like that. Okay, so the first three are the red wines, and now I'm going to show you the white wines that you were matched with from the quiz. The first one that we have is from the famous Central Valley region of Chile which looks absolutely beautiful. This is a bright and lively Sauvignon Blanc from the central region of Chile from 2019. And it is beautifully vibrant and light. And it has citrus and tropical fruit notes of grapefruit, lime, and passion fruit. So 
it is an approachable and simple wine made to enjoy on a on a warm summer day and we are in almost january right now so that sounds so beautiful and amazing <laughs> and this wine pairs well with oysters crab and pasta with mint and again you will notice down here on all of the cards you have an area for tasting notes so even though you are not a wine expert yet um, I would highly recommend that when you enjoy them, you write little notes down on the card and over time you will be able to pick up on different notes, um, what you like, what you don't like, and um, in the future you'll be able to identify what you like just by the different regions and areas and have a lot more fun picking out wine on your own. And this is the bottle. The Sauvignon Blanc name comes from Sauvage, which roughly translates into wild white. And it's one of the most widely planted grapes in the world with the broadest range of flavors. This 2019 vintage 25 degrees Chilean Sauvignon Blanc features bright flavors of lime, melon, and ripe passion fruit. And it features a lime and yellow and white label and bottle. Next, we have a newer wine from Mendoza, Argentina, the beautiful mountain area of Argentina. So this wine is from 2020, but don't worry, I promise that not everything from 2020 is bad. <laughs> this wine is very delicious. Bright acidity jumps out of the glass with each sip of this wine. This wine is from Mendoza's famously high altitude vineyards where hot, dry conditions and a significant shift in temperature allow fruit to fully ripen while also maintaining natural acidity. And it features bold, white floral aromatics of jasmine that are complemented by tropical lemon lime and peach flavor. And um, this wine pairs well with grilled chicken, empanadas, and seafood. And that is your card with the bottle and the description and pairings. And here we have the bottle itself, which highlights the beautiful golden color of the wine with a sun logo that says Mendoza under it um, because they are very proud of the region where it was created. And the final white wine and last wine of the bundle is a Pinot Grigio from beautiful Garda, Italy. Lively acidity and classical citrus flavors shine in this Pinot Grigio from Garda, Italy. Nestled in the northern part of Italy, the climate in the Garda region is classic Mediterranean, warm sunny days, which is perfect for grape growing. Situated on Lake Garda, Italy's largest lake, the vineyards thrive in the bright sunshine and cool breezes that come off of the lake. And I want to immediately go on vacation right now. Classic citrus notes of lemon, lime, and grapefruit zest shine in this wine. Plush on the palate and uncomplicated, this wine is sure to be gone quickly once opened. 
and this wine pairs well with antipasto, brie, and pasta primavera. And there you have your card with all the information. And here we have the bottle that features a white label with the Vespa on top and also in the back and it says that the wine name is an Italian phrase that loosely translates to pleasant surprise. We believe that this 2019 vintage of Pinot Grigio from Garda, Italy will be a lovely revelation in your glass. Pronounced notes of lemon and grapefruit zest overlay its naturally lively acidity. So there you have it, and what do you think of all the wines that we picked for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we certainly went on a little bit of an adventure around the globe, right? <laughs> well, I'm hoping that you're going to enjoy all of these, and I'm sure that you will, because they were all picked with your preferences in mind. So what I will do is get a box for you and package these up, and I will make sure that all of the tasting cards are in the box for you. In addition to um, our newsletter that we put out, it has some of the um, information about the wines, what we have upcoming in our catalog, and some other information. So if you have any questions, be sure to let us know, and be sure to let your friends know about this great deal, because it only goes until the end of the year. So. All right, well, thank you so much for coming in, and I had a lot of fun helping you pick wines, and please let us know how you liked them, and we hope to see you soon. Have a great day.